Hello everyone, my name is Ayan Hamadeen and I'll be presenting about the Sudanese Revolution of 2019, the hijack of the military regime, which is the topic of my paper for the media and politics minor. But first, let's watch this together. <laughs> لو طلب حاكم أن تجاب له دعوة لما كان طالبا أكثر من رؤية الآلاف المؤلفة من شعبه هرج ومرج في الخرطوم This takes me to my thesis of the paper that focused on the military history of Sudan that led to the 2019 revolution and the role of political movements that use political Islam to achieve their goals. My thesis also tackles the role of media in portraying the demonstration happening in the revolution and how it helped into shaping it. I will firstly talk about the revolutionary history of Sudan, then I'll move to media misinformation, followed by political groups, and lastly, social media platforms. To begin with, Sudan had a rebellious history that is exceptional. Sudan is considered the first country in the Arab region to revolt against its government. It had gone through several attempts to dismantle a series of regimes that were governed by military figures. Beginning with the first revolution in Sudan happening in 1964, it was led by students, professionals, professors, unionists, and most importantly, political parties. All of them were aiming for the downfall of General Ibrahim Abboud. Sudan was still not free of military regime. After the 1964 revolution, it had undergone another revolution in 1985, where the mass went on the streets again to end the military autocracy under Ghaffar Nimeri. This takes us to 2019. The killings, injuries, and bloodshed happening throughout all the revolutions did not stop the mass to persist with their plan of taking down Omar al-Bashir, the president of Sudan from 1989 to 2019. Moving on to media misinformation, al-Bashir got overthrown in exchange for another military regime ruled by Ahmed Awad ibn Auf, a member of the military and once al-Bashir's right hand. Ibn Auf took over the media and changed the narrative to his favor. He issued a statement that included a reassurance of the arrest of al-Bashir and promised to change the state's economic and political situation. عليه أعلن أنا ودير الدفاع رئيس اللينة الأمنية العليا اقتلاع ذلك النظام والتحفظ على رأسه بعد اعتقاله في مكان آمن كما أعلن الآتي أولا تشكيل مجلس عسكري انتقالي يتولى إدارة الحكم لفترة انتقالية مدتها عامين The statement did not entail any actions and initiatives put into fulfilling the demands of the protests the Sudanese mass was quick to realize the effect of media manipulation in hindering their goals of ending the military regime. Ibn Auf was taken down by them, but he gave the regime to the Transitional Military Council, run by Deputy Chairman Mohammed Hemeti. Moving on to political movements, and I chose to focus on ISIS. It is important to emphasize on the unstable condition of Sudan that was under many political groups. They tried to influence the mass, especially the youth, to achieve their political goals. One important political movement that influenced Sudan for quite some time is the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. This group follows political Islam where it situates itself among revolutionary figures and movements to either overthrow a regime or influence the regime by their agenda. With the help and use of media platforms, ISIS used Twitter to recruit Africans to the movement. They reached out to Sudanese students who were newly joining the University of Medical Science and Technology in Khartoum, and they kept reminding them about their need to challenge the far enemy to have a pure Islamic state. And by the far enemy, I mean the West. Lastly, I'll be talking about social media and its role in influencing the revolution. The Sudanese public did not stop there. They found tools to push back against such suppression. One of these tools was Twitter where it was used to spread awareness and expose the actions of the regime through trending hashtags. People inside and outside Sudan tweeted daily hashtags like Tasqudas, which stands for Just Fall, Sudan Uprising, and many more. People also used traditional ways like words of mouth about upcoming uprising 
going door to door and asking people to go on the streets and march together. However, the military saw the strength of social media in complicating their agendas. So they shut down the internet and did a complete blackout on communications in Sudan. Here, the role of the Sudanese diaspora has arisen. The diaspora kept tweeting the hashtag Blue for Sudan, which is in the honor of the martyr Muhammad Matar, who died in the massacre of 2019. The diaspora also turned their profile pictures to blue color. The blue wave took over social media, where almost all nationalities around the world contributed to make this hashtag and movement trendy. This helped in shifting international attention to Sudan and raising awareness about what's happening there. This takes me to talk about the six courses that I took for this minor that influenced the concepts and arguments of this presentation. Beginning with Revolutions in Comparative Perspective by Professor Mehran Kamrava. The second class was Art, Media and Cultural Politics by Professor Eleni Kolimunapulu. The third one being Migration, Diaspora and Displacement in the Middle East by Professor Amanda Garrett. The fourth one is Islamism and Politics in the Middle East by Professor Khalid Farouk. The fifth one is Media and Religion by Professor Ibrahim Abu Sharif. And last one is Understanding Media Context by Professor Kristen Pike. In conclusion, the revolution in 2019 is a dear and near subject to my heart. The Sudanese revolution of 2019 is very complex. However, the Sudanese people are still trying to stop such governance. Through this minor, I was able to explore politics in depth and how they work with the media. Given the example of my country, one can realize that every state uses politics to instrument ways to aid their agendas. However, people like me can use politics to get empowered with the knowledge needed to make a change. I am very grateful again for the decision of taking this minor, and I hope I can influence as much people as I can by the knowledge that I have. And thank you.